Hello, thanks for tuning in. In this episode, we'll talk about dog people, aka Sinocephaly. Many cultures throughout the world reference all different sorts of beasts, but the dog people is one of the lesser known. I'm not talking about werewolves or wild from League of Legends, but beings that had human-like bodies built with the head of a dog. Such early examples as Anubis. The Egyptians believed this being was god of the underworld. There are many depictions of this creature today through old Egyptian artifacts. While the Greeks may have not have believed in the dog-headed gods, they knew of places where dog-headed creatures reportedly existed. As far back as 5th century BCE, a Greek doctor wrote about dog-headed men that could be found in India. Later, a Greek explorer described dog-headed men also in India, who spoke to each other by barking and were primitive savages by nature. Centuries later, even the elders of the Catholic Church believed such beings existed. St. Augustine pondered in his writings if dog-headed men were able to have the same moral laws as humankind and if they could be saved. Very bizarrely, some ancient icons of St. Christopher depict him as having a dog's head. The story goes that he had led a sinful life in this form, but he was reformed and was baptized, and he transformed into a man having a human head. Even King Arthur gets into the picture when he and his army allegedly defeated a band of dog-headed soldiers in the mountains surrounding Enderberg. And although he never claimed to encounter them personally, Marco Polo reported that dog-headed men lived on the island of the coast of Menar. There are also reports of dog-headed men in writings from 5th century China, and some legends place dog-headed men in regions of Africa. Obviously, there have been no skeletons of dog-headed humans ever found to back up these tales, and current believers are few and far between. But the widespread myths do make you wonder where all these stories come from, and if the tales are just remnants of early long-lost global myths that later developed into their own flavors within different cultures, or if it might be something of fact.